What's up guys, Black Horse here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycle 2020 for the time trial of the 2020 World Championships taking place in Imola um, Obviously due to the current pandemic the championships had to be moved from their original location which was Switzerland more specifically the region of Aigle and Martini where the UECI currently resides and um, yeah, today we are fortunate enough to actually have the time trial, 32 kilometers uh, around Imola, around the famous um, motorsport track or motorsport circuit. Uh, I don't know if they actually go near it or on it. Um, but yeah, compared to um, the race you'll see in two days, there is no start list for this World Championships ITT because you cannot make a start list for a world championship race which is very very dumb you have to create a database and for those who know me uh or follow me on my social medias you link you know that my uh current situation doesn't allow me to uh create database uh because i'm very short on time so yeah uh apologies uh, apologies on that but nevertheless we're gonna go for these 32 kilometers around Gimola. uh i will pick france obviously uh as i had previously mentioned we're gonna go with our two riders hopefully it worked yes okay two riders max that's good uh we'll have Rémi Cavagna who is the main chance for France of winning anything uh or at least bringing a, uh, a medal uh home and former French time trial champion Benjamin Thomas all right without further ado let's jump in into these world championships may the best man win Alright, so the main issue with not having a start list means that a lot of riders taking part in this race aren't actually taking part in real life. Uh, for example, I'm pretty sure I said in the favourite the likes of Remco Venepoel. Why he can't do that, can he? Uh, he, he just cannot. Uh, also, everyone's bringing two, two riders except for South Africa. They didn't want to. Uh, that might be a, a mistake on my end, to be honest. Uh, that's not the case again. Real life, not everyone is bringing two riders. But, um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, I'm, I've done my best, okay? The, uh, there's a lot of countries that are taking place in real life that I can't have here. Uh, I think Serbia is one of them. Syria, I know, is one of them. I think the first guy that leaves is actually from Syria. Uh, maybe New Zealand, because I'm not seeing Patrick Bevin in the start list. Well, I mean, in the current race, although I'm pretty sure Patrick Bevin could actually compete for something. Uh, but, yeah. Apologies on that, I'm trying to do with what I can. I really hope that next year, PCM can allow us to make start lists for the World Championships. It would be so much easier. It really was, because what you have to do to make a, to, to actually have a sort of a start list, you have to modify one of the races in the database to make it the World Championship, and then to remove every rider, like for example, let's say I want Alaphilippe playing, riding for France, you have to remove him from dry, from uh, racing for Dukenac. You have to add a team that's France. You have to add all the kids. And then you can have Alaphilippe riding for France. It's such a pain in the ass. And last season, I know someone had done the database. It was um, Mr... Uh, uh, was it, was it uh, Solemn Apple? I think it was. Uh, I could be wrong there. I think it was. And... Um, I think he might be doing it again this year. If he does, uh, then, I mean, shout out, big respect, because he's a legend. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's keep on uh, racing, I guess, in uh, this time trial. Dan Martinez, the <laughs> latest signing of Team Ineos, is now on the way. Tadej Pogacar starting his effort. Again, uh, he's not taking part in the actual time trial. Uh, because if he was, he'd have an actual chance, I think, on Jan Tratnik is representing uh, Slovenia on the, 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 world, the um, world Championships, yeah. Uh, and for the record, it was F-Cross who made the last year's database out to, uh, to check it. It was Solemn Lemon and not Solemn Apple. That's just, it's just fruit lingo, isn't it? Benjamin Thomas on the way for his time trial. I mean, on the way in 3, 2, 1. Benjamin Thomas is on the way for uh, the World Championships. Will he win? The answer is no. Will he be on the podium? The answer is no. Uh, but we're going to give it our best. We're going to do whatever we can. I don't know if Remy is in a good shape. I really hope he is. Uh, but yeah, 
I feel like it's going to be tough beating one of these two. Well, I mean, if Belgium isn't on the podium, they, they've they've well and truly fucked it. And at the first intermediate, it's currently Chad Haga leading the way in Borgo to, uh, Tosignano, ahead of Chris Froome and Tadej Pogosar. I don't think Benjamin is uh, going to be competing. No, no, he's not. Uh, however, Affini, decent time trial for him. Maximilian Schachmann as well, 5th place, but 30 seconds down already on the American rider of the Team Sunweb. Bonjour Matova, first intermediate, 52 seconds beyond Chadega, SNL, SNL. Quite curious to see what this man is going to do. Remco, Remco takes the first time ahead of Jos van Emden, who had taken uh, the time ahead of, um, of Chadega already. Okay, 5 seconds in the lead for, Jos van, for Remco van Epel. 21-25 halfway through the uh, parkour. Richie Port, Richie Port isn't uh, in the mix at all. One night, Remco van Emden, Chadega, and potentially Eduardo Affini. As we've entered the circuit of Imola, we are indeed on the motorsport track. We'll be doing the final two kilometers on uh, those mythical roads. And Benjamin Thomas across the line. 9th place, 125 behind Chadega. Jos van Emden is going to take 2nd place, 1 second behind Chadega. Remco with 1 km left. What can the uh, Belgium prodigy do? Prodigy? Prodigy? Prodigy. I don't know. But he can take 1st place. That's what he can do. We've got Roglic on the way. Nelson Oliveira. Tony Martin, the former 4 times, I believe, time total champion, is going as well. Stefan Kung, one of the big, big names for uh, today's potential win. Filippo Ganna. One of the big, big shout outs as well for the win. I mean, we're always going to have big leaders now. Remy Cavagna with a bad day. Remy Cavagna with a bad day. I don't think Remy will be able to go for it. I don't feel like Remy will be able to go for the win here. It's going to be very tough for the TGV de Clermont-Ferrand, but we're going to give it our best. Remy Cavagna, 32 kilometers. Come on, son. Good time for Stefan Kung. Four seconds behind Remco at the first intermediate. He looks to be quite on form, the Swiss man. Uh, Philippe Ogana might be a bit further down though. I mean, it, it's the visual impression I'm getting. Yeah, he is. So is Rémi Cavagna. We'll see what Tom Dumoulin, Victor Campenart and Ron Dennis can do. Ron Dennis, uh, aiming for a third consecutive world title, I believe. Uh, but Rémi Cavagna out of the mix for the win today in Imola. He is already 12th, 27 seconds behind Remco. Uh, we won't have a French rider on the podium today in Imola. Victor Campenart approaching the first intermediate. What can the Belgian do? Take second place. Same time as Stefan Kung. Four seconds behind his um, national teammate, Remco Venepo. But what can Ron Dennis do? First intermediate. He is... Oh my god! Now this man is on another planet. He is just on another planet. 21 seconds quicker than Remco Venepo. In 18 kilometers, are you mad? Fam, that's so disrespectful. That's mental. Tony Martin is going to cross the line. Um, he's he's going to aim for a top 10. I'm not sure he's going to get it though. Stefan Kung, who was very close to Remco Venepo at the first intermediate. What can he do on the Autodromo di Mola? Uh, he can take first place, same second as Remco, even though I'm pretty sure PCM would give the uh, benefit of the doubt to Remco here because he was the first one to cross the line. Filippo Ganna now on his uh, home turf. He can only achieve third place. Remy is not going to achieve anything. We'll see what Tom Dumoulin, Campenart and the others can do. Cavagna in P12. Tom Dumoulin, P6. Victor Campenart to try and potentially fend off the man that is behind him. Across the line for Campenart, it is one second behind Remco and the Rondonis is already here. 500 meters left. Main straight of Imola, DRS. And that's 45 seconds quicker than Stefan Kung. Oh my god. That's outrageous. That is genuinely mental. Rondonis is an absolute monster. I'm baffled. Remy finishes in P15. Yeah, I mean, I didn't expect anything with his race day um, form. Chris from 14th, Lawson Crowder, Tony Martin, Nelson Rivera, 
1 minute 13 already for P10 in Primoz Roglic. Affini, Tom Dumoulin, Jos van Emden, Chad Hager with a decent time trial, Philippe Ghana in P5, a minute down nearly. What? I mean, if it was a minute down, he'd be three places behind, uh, below, but 55 sec uh, 53 seconds sorry, for Ghana, 55 for Chad Hager, 48 for Victor Campenarts, 47 for Remco Nepal, 46 for Stefan Kung. Remove Rondinus out of the equation, and you've got a podium within three seconds. Or two seconds, technically. I won't lie, I don't think we'll have the same results tonight, or tonight, this evening. Uh, if, if we do, it's a madness. I don't feel like Ryan Dennis has shown anything this year that would make him able to win by 46 seconds. But you never know, you never know. Ryan Dennis is one of these guys that can do basically what they want on a time trial because they're just mental. But yeah, uh, who finished last? Mikhailo Konokenko. The uh, 32 year old sprinter from Ukraine. Mark Padden, disappointing though. Ryan Mullen as well. He used to be a, a big, big prospect who's kind of trash. Katkowski. Fair. Alright, well then. Um, I didn't expect these gaps at all. Uh, I'm going to be really honest. But this is where we're going to wrap up this video. Uh, I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. If you're new around here and want to see more of my content, then please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, I upload very regularly PCM content, and I have now started a podcast on my channel called Willy Soccer. Uh, if you want to give it a listen, then uh, I would gladly, gladly appreciate it. It would mean the world. And yeah, uh, I'll see you for the road race of the World Championships. But in the meantime, have a wonderful day. Enjoy, uh, well, enjoy your day. Enjoy the World Championships. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the future. But I've been Blackwell. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys, and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. All the mother man need feeding. I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black, and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with the phone and dab. Boss up, I'm out with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip, blockbuster. buster.